So this morning, my three-year-old threw an epic tantrum in public. He got plenty of sleep, nothing dramatic happened this morning, but still, he was not in a good mood. And we're not talking like a small, amateur, mediocre tantrum. We're talking like an Oscar award-worthy tantrum. Now, just between you and me, I was actually really impressed with the kid's vocal range and power. I'm thinking he has a solid chance at a successful career in heavy metal. I tried talking to him. I tried reasoning with him. I tried picking him up off the cement he decided to park himself on. But picking up a tantrum throwing kid doesn't feel like picking up just one little kid. It feels like picking up a large swarm of angry bees. Yeah, you try it. And people are walking by. They're staring, some of them are rolling their eyes. I hear a breathy geez come out of one woman's mouth. Another woman walks by with her three young children who are all behaving like perfect little angels. And me, I'm just sitting there on the pavement next to my tantrum throwing kid. And guess what? I'm not embarrassed, not at all. Now let me tell you something. 14 years ago, if this had happened when I first became a mom, I would have been mortified. I would have been thinking, oh my goodness, everyone thinks I'm a horrible mother, everyone thinks my kid is the brattiest of brats. But now, as a third time mom, after parenting over a decade, I just sat there and I didn't feel any shame at all. Because see, a tantrum is just a part of real life. And it's a part of real parenting, it's a part of being a kid who is still trying to figure out how to communicate all his needs and wants. And I have nothing to be embarrassed about. And neither do you. Don't let anyone make you feel bad. And when I say anyone, that includes you. Don't beat yourself up over the fact that parenting can be cuckoo sometimes. And your kids are gonna be cuckoo sometimes, which in turn is gonna make you cuckoo. And that's a lot of cuckoos going on. And that's okay. You are not a loser at parenting. Because an occasional tantrum doesn't equal bad parenting. No, an occasional tantrum equals a normal child who is still working on learning how to express themselves in a calm, mature way. I mean, seriously, I know healthy adults who are still working on expressing themselves without throwing a fit. You could be the most strict, fair, loving, empathetic parent who teaches manners and responsibilities and kindness, and your kid might still throw epic tantrums because normal. P.S. In your parenting journey, you will probably encounter that mom who swears her kid never threw tantrums. And she might decide to make you feel bad about the fact that your kid does. Don't let her get to you. Listen, I would rather be a mom with an imperfect tantrum throwing kid than a mom who chooses to add to another mom's struggle. Like seriously, ew. So next time that happens, don't think about what anyone else is thinking and don't feel bad. You just focus on your own kid and getting yourself to a less cuckoo place. Put your kids' needs and your own sanity before other people's judgments and opinions. Cannot get an amen. And then eventually my child calmed down and we had a nice little chat about how it's normal to sometimes feel angry, but there are good and bad ways to express that anger. And throwing yourself in the cement in public and wailing is probably not the best way. And then I got myself a lollipop because nobody deserves a treat more than a mother who just survived an epic tantrum and still loves her kid to pieces. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe. And don't piss on your mom's floor.